Let us know how important it is to keep doing this and to keep putting pressure on our congressional delegation and our media to tell the truth about what is happening. Total number of explosive shells fired by Israel, 59,200. The number of missiles fired from Israeli warships, 15,580. The number of shells fired from Israeli war planes, planes 7178 number of charities destroyed by israeli occupation forces in gaza 22 number of civilians affected by these destroyed charities 183000 the number of water and sanitation stations destroyed 8 number of civilians affected by the destruction of these stations 700000 total number of mosques targeted by the Israeli occupation forces, 132. The number of cemeteries that were destroyed. Muslim cemeteries, 10. Christian cemeteries, 1. 12 ambulances were destroyed. Healthcare centers, 10. Hospitals damaged by Israeli bombs and fire, 13. Number of workers in the healthcare sector killed, 16. Wounded, 38. Number of schools targeted, 188. Number of students affected by the targeting of these schools, 152,000. Number of Palestinian universities targeted, six. Number of students affected, 100,000. The total economic loss to Gaza as a result of these attacks is $2.4 billion. Contrary to repeated allegations by Israeli officials of the use of human shields Amnesty International found no evidence that Hamas or other Palestinian fighters directed the movement of civilians to shield military objectives from attacks. It found no evidence that Hamas or other armed groups forced residents to stay in or around buildings used by fighters, nor that fighters prevented residents from leaving buildings or areas which had been commandeered by militants. Now, we are... Um, going to begin a walk march down to the area of the Nickelodeon. Then we're going to go down to where Starbucks is, cross the street, come back up to the Nickelodeon, and then gather in that corner, that uh, plaza area, where the lobster statue is. Please form there. This is where we will have a reading of the names of the Palestinian children who have been killed. Hiba Mustafa al Mamun, seven. Rafa. Obada Mustafa al Mamun, three. Rafa. Mohammed Amjad Awidi, age 12, Rafa. Amal Amjad Awida, age five. Rafa. Fares Abu Jazar, two. Rafa. Maria Abu Jazar, two. Twins. Rafa. The, um, we're very pleased to have uh, Peter Morin. Yes. Bob, did you say there was a representative from Senator Collins' office here? Yes, yes. He's right here. Okay, his name is Peter Morin. And um, Peter is here. 
Hey, yes. In view of the fact that most of this violence is done with U.S. weapons and other forms of financial aid, we call upon our delegation to oppose all further aid until Israel is prepared to deal, to deal justly with the Palestinians. I've asked each uh, representative from each of the four organizations that were behind this petition to just make a one-sentence statement that Peter can take back to Senator Collins and what we would like to see her do. One sentence. I ask you deeply to care about the children in Gaza. There are now like 500 and, and still counting who have been killed, and those numbers do not speak to the thousands who have been traumatized, who will have P PTSD for the rest of their lives, and the thousands that are injured. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have um, Denny Dreyer, who is representing Pax Christi, Maine. I would second what Pat just said, but I'm also really concerned about the catastrophic condition of, of Gaza and with all of the, the water, the, the health care facilities, sewage facilities just absolutely destroyed. And what is going to happen to those people and to the children? And what will this mean for the future? So please, we've got to be able to find another way besides the way that we're going about this. Tina? Tina, uh, Malcolmson represents uh, Peace Action Maine. Yes, um, members of Peace Action Maine would uh, like to ask Senator Collins to please do something practical such that this uh, kind of attack and assault on Gaza does not happen again. And um, please, please stop blaming Hamas and please end the occupation. And uh, as a representative of Maine Voices for Palestinian Rights, I think I would say I would like for Senator Collins to please read carefully the material that we give to her and to her staff that advise her, because we believe that that material, if carefully tended to, can have an impact on her thinking about this issue. Education has to precede action, and so we're asking that that happen.